Hi, Chris Chinock in the Layup booth at Display Week 2022. Uh, they are a 3D display company, and what they're showing here uh, is uh, this is an eye-tracked uh, light field display. So what's uh, clever about this is uh, the eye tracking is locking onto me now. It's delivering two views in this head position. If I move my head position a little bit, it actually delivers uh, a different set of views. So what that means is uh, be, that you can call this now light field because there is a look around capability. I will see a different perspective as I move my head. Uh, clearly the camera cannot capture that, um, but that's, that's the advantage. Um, and it's a, actually a fairly good viewing range here uh, where the image stays uh, solid. It starts to break up about, about this angle over here, uh, but pretty solid. This is a, a 4K panel. Uh, so the ultimate resolution uh, that, you're, that you're going to see is probably about full HD per eye. Uh, so somewhere in between that would be the apparent resolution. Uh, over in this station, they're showing uh, automotive displays here. Uh, so this is a flat version of the automotive display. Uh, and over here, they're showing a, uh, a curved version. Uh, the way, uh, and this has some uh, 3D effect. These are multi-view. Uh, uh, I think there were seven or 14 views, I forget exactly, uh, for, uh, in this multi-view display. Uh, but it's different. This is not using a lenticular. Uh, they have a steerable backlight. So basically they put a diffraction-based element between the backlight and the LCD panel. Uh, and, uh, and that diffractive element is essentially a micro lens array to create the, the different views and be able to steer them in, uh, in the way that's uh, desired. Uh, so again, no, no um, eye tracking in the car application. Uh, and because that's a, that diffractive element is, is uh, electrically uh, controllable, you can turn it on and off. In other words, turn the 2D uh, on or off, depending on your comfort level. Uh, they do have a, uh, a, a relationship with Continental. Uh, Continental's apparently um, uh, looked at a number of 3D technologies and chose Leia as their partner. Uh, so as a tier one provider, they'll be taking this technology to a number of, of auto manufacturers and, and hopefully we'll see something like this in a, in a TV in the near future. Uh, so Leia also has some content creation capabilities. They can take uh, standard stereoscopic content, uh, top bottom, side by side, create it into their format. Uh, they can take RGB depth uh, content that comes in from phone, for example, and create that into their format. Uh, they have plugins for Unity and Unreal Engines. Uh, so creation of content is an important uh, piece of, of this ecosystem in solving the problem. Uh, and they seem to have a lot of tools and a lot of content out there to be able to uh, support uh, this ecosystem.